Okay everyone, we're back with another video and what we're going to do here is we're going to crack open some Matchbox collectibles. I may have shown these before. These were sitting in storage and I decided that I'm going to crack them open and one of the reasons why and here you're looking at the 1953 Jaguar X1120 is because these stupid rubber bands that Hot Wheels and Matchbox used on their cars. See how they break and they tend to stick to the car and they ruin the paint job so we're going to start cracking a bunch of these open. And here we go. Let's crack this one open. And thankfully, oops, the band just goes around the box and not the car. Actually, it's on the bottom of the car. I take that back. It sticks to the car. Because they wrapped it around the axles here. You know what? We're going to get get the rest of it off later. Here's the Jaguar. Nice headlights there. Nice deco. You got the nice chrome bumper. The nice place is Coke. Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. And then it has the Santa Claus deco on the hood. And these do have metal bases. Or this one does in the real riders. So there's a Jaguar. Okay, and the next one we're gonna crack open is this 1955 Chevy Baylor hardtop. Matchbox collectibles and this. Trying to find the date on here, I don't remember. Can't seem to find the date. It says I see a date of nineteen ninety eight on there. So, let's get these, we can of this rubber bands stuff as best we can. Okay, and here we go, and this one does have a plastic base, not a metal one. Pause and refresh Coca-Cola. And it has the, um, I forget his official name, the bottle cap guy there. I can't remember. He does have a name, though. I just can't remember. If anybody of you know the name, you could leave it in the comments. Nice yellow and white paint job there. Nice chrome front end, nice detail on the front, and nice detail on the back, nice places coke. Okay, the next one is a 1957 Corvette convertible.
And as you can see, there's a rubber band on the base there. Okay, can't get it all off. That's why I don't like when they do that. But here you go, Corvette convertible here. I stick on the back, see that last place is Coke. You get the rubber tires on there, Santa Claus on the hood. And that is Santa Claus painted by Haddon Sundblom. He's the one that did all the artwork for Coca-Cola when it came to Santa Claus. Nice grill. Deco on there. And like I said, it has a plastic base. Let's line these up. Okay, and the next one is 1968 Mustang Cobra Jet in yellow. And as you can see, there's more of those dreaded rubber bands. Yeah, I know there's more on there. Sorry about that. Okay, yeah, we'll get the rest later. There's a Cobra Jet Mustang. There's Coca-Cola. Nice deco in the rear. Stick on the front, a sh chrome shiny grill. Rubber band stuff's everywhere. There's rubber tires, plastic base. And what's cool is it has a chrome bumper there on the back and the front. And it has this picture on there. Coke has the taste you never get. Does it say used? Tired of. Coke has the taste you never get tired of. Right there, listening to music there. Pretty cool. Okay. Here's a cool one. A 1956 Ford pickup. It's a Premier Collection. It's called. I think it says 19, let's see what the date says. It says 19, I think it says 98 on there. And there's the pickup truck. In red with the white roof. This Ford on the back. And it says Coke 98. The deco on the front. You get the plastic base. There's the stupid rubber bands. Get rid of them later. The rubber tires. 
very nice piece here. Okay, here's another one, the Mac CH600. This is from Premier Collection. And here's this one. It says Coke on the side. With the rubber tires on there. Nice front grill deco there. It's pretty cool. I like it. Gas tanks. With the chrome base, plastic on the bottom though. Metal body though, pretty cool. It's a Mack truck. Okay, and then here we got the 1933 Ford Coupe. This is from Coca-Cola Collectibles. And then this one we'll just have to buff out. Because this one it did wrap around the body on the one side. But we'll just have to clean it off. Get in the windows. This is Coca-Cola. Yeah, I see there's some more on there still. I have to clean that off. But you got the six pack on the side. It says Coca Cola in the trunk lid. Coke on the license plate. Just a nice chrome motor here. And as you can see, you got the rubber band. Rubber band right there. With the headlight detail, trim around the black windows. It's a pretty cool model. With the plastic base on this one. I think this is a cool, very cool model. Then let's see the next one. It's Coca Cola Collectibles 1969 Chevy Camaro SS. 396 convertible and it says the enduring characters edition and this one's done a little differently this one actually comes like this with stackable display as you can see here, and it has this little card, 69 Chevy Camaro SS396, marketed by the makers of Matchbox Collectibles. There's Coca-Cola there, this card goes in the back, and the card sits on the base. And you see you got these little tabs here, these little things. You can lock the bases together. And this car is attached by a wire, which I'm not going to take off the base now. Let's put the card and the whole thing on there. I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible. It's going longer than I wanted. 
And here's another cool one, the 97 Ford F-150. It's from the Premier Collection. Crafted by the greatest name in diecast, limited edition. And there's this one. And there's a dreaded rubber band. Nice sticker on the front. The Ford emblem. Ford emblem there. It says F-150 Coca-Cola Coke. 98 there. I like the bumpers. They're pretty cool. Has a plastic base. It's cool. They put the chrome bumpers on the front and the back. Trim around the bed, the windows, side mirrors. And then we'll clean up those rubber bands later. So we got two more to crack open. And here's a classic old school matchbox. The Model A Ford. You've released this one a lot. Premier Collection. Just drill the rubber bands off. And there you go. Nice rubber tires. This is Coca Cola, fully assured. Nice grill on the front. Grill bumper. And I can't read what that says. It looks like that kind of messed up there. Oh, I see what they did. It had numbers on the back for the license plate, and then they tried to print Coke 98 on there, and it screwed it up. Okay, my battery's going to die. So the next one, here's a 70 El Camino, the Premier Collection. And here you go. White portion on the top there. Coca-Cola. Nice deck on the rear. It says Coke 98. And nice deck on the front. Rubber tires. And there you go. That's the last one we're going to crack open. I believe. Yep, that's the last one. And I just want to say thank you for watching this video. Hope you liked it. Which one was your favorite? Please give a thumbs up. And please leave comments. I do read them all. And I just want to say thank you again. And you have a good evening. And I will talk to you later. Bye.